In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a custom list style. And if you look at the document on the screen, you'll see that we have a list here. And the outline format of this list is we have a number for our main heading. And then for our heading two, we have the number and then a decimal. So 1.1, 1.2, and so on. So let's say that we wanted to change the how this looks with the with a numbering system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this option here, the multi-level list. I'm going to click the drop down on the right hand side. And right now you'll see that the current list is this one, heading one, heading two, and the one 1.1 1 .1 style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to choose define new list style. And in this window, I'm going to create a name for my new list style, and I'm going to call it my list style. The style type of list has already been chosen for us. And so now we get to apply formatting to each of the different levels. And so what I'm going to do is we could change this, these options within the preview here. And we're going to leave the first level alone. When I click into the second level, you'll see that it's already shows me what the current format is. If I click down here into the format button and choose numbering, we have even more options to us available within this level. And so again, I'm going to click level two here to modify level two. I want to leave level one alone. So I'm just going to focus on level two for right now. And here you see a little preview of what the current formatting is for that level. And let's say I want to change the style from a 1, 2, 3 format to a lowercase abc format. And when you do that, you'll see that the formatting here is showing you a preview of what it's going to look like here. Well, I don't necessarily want that one point in front of the A. I would just like the A there. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to remove the one and the point. And now my preview is just showing an A. So my first level is going to be a numbering system. My second level is going to be a lowercase uh, alphabetized system. I'm going to click OK. And you see that the preview here updates as well. And now if I want to use this preview area to set the third level, I can do so here. And let's say that I want that third level to be a symbol. And I'm going to click here within the symbol preview button. And let's say that I want this squiggly line as my symbol. Click OK. And now my third level is going to have this symbol applied to it. And everything else looks good. I'm going to click OK. And now my document has been updated with the new numbering system. And if I were to click under Overview or click on Overview, press Enter, and then press tab. You'll see that my second level here has been applied the A format or the second level format that we set up within our, our new style list. And let's say we're going to say point A. Press enter one more time. It's going to go to B. And if we want our third level format applied, we press tab. And you'll see that our little squiggly line is has already been applied to our custom list. And we can type information within that level as well. And that's how you would create a custom list style.